is to be sentenced to live with a nagging woman for life. <laughs> in some countries in Africa, by the way, guys, laughter is good and healthy for the soul. You need to laugh with your spouse. You need to laugh with your kids. In our house, every Wednesday, we know that we arrange that we have a laughing session, whereby even the kids go to the internet and everyone comes up with a joke and we all laugh. That's life. Some people, you only look, meet your wife when you want to go sleep, and that's when that you start knowing your wife. No, it shouldn't be like that. You're supposed to enjoy life. God wants us to enjoy life while we are still here on earth. That sentence. That's why even in Africa... <laughs> Honey, I think this one was bought for you, my love. Okay. So, you don't want to live like this, eh? I know that in some countries it's the other way around. Yeah, it's the men on the top. Yeah. I think it's, it, it's very easy for, for us to, to laugh at that. But if that guy is having a problem and God says bring, like Pastor, Pastor said this morning, he said our problems is not the people. So stop looking at your wife and your husband as the, as the problem. The problem is not them, but it's also always it's the devil. It's the devil that does not want to see marriages succeed. So he will put you in a position where he sees you as the problem. But when you're dealing with him, it's for you to apply grace and say, I know he might see me as the problem, but right now, I know I'm not the problem, the devil is the problem, so I'm gonna take away the focus and put it back where it belongs. I'm not gonna put it on my husband, I'm gonna put it back where it belongs. The focus should be the devil. Honey, let us not make the devil make us to, to fight. If we've got anything we are in disagreement with, let's sit down and talk. I refuse to see you the way the devil wants me to see you because that is not you. But sometimes when we're facing problems, you forget to look at your husband and see him as your husband, but you see him as, as the problem. And he's not the problem. So don't fight each other. You're not the problem. Fight the devil. The minute he sees that you are the strongest, he knows that he's winning, he's losing. Because the devil fights strong families. He knows in order to get everything finished, he has to fight the, the marriages. By destroying marriages, he's destroying families. By destroying families, he's destroying communities. By destroying communities, he's got the entire world living up in arms. So at the end of the day, that's why even he attacks the men because he knows that when he attacks the men who's supposed to be the visionary and the head in that family, then the children that are gonna come out of that, they won't have the correct vision. They would not know how to be led by the men. They cannot be good fathers. They're gonna end up in jail and all these things that are happening. It's not anything else. It's the plan of the evil one to destroy. So for us as wives, we need to say, yes, we can see you, but we will fight our battles on our knees by praying more, praying for our husbands. Not only when you feel like now it's too hot to handle things, but even when things are good. When a person says, I pray for him more than I pray for myself, that's exactly what I do. I pray for my for my husband more than I pray for myself. I pray for my children more than I pray for myself. Sometimes I even forget to pray for myself because myself cannot exist if my children and my family and my husband is in up, is up in arms. The one thing that makes me feel I am complete is having that family and knowing that they are destined to be in the kingdom of God. So I fight the enemy, the correct enemy, and not fight him. Does that mean that it is, there's no days that I would just say it and hang on? Once I realize that I've said something and I didn't mean to do it because I'm human, I go back to him. And I said, I am sorry, I should not have said that. And I am I, I'm sorry for saying that. Because a lot of times we, we can forgive, but others, 
it's very difficult to even ask for forgiveness. They will just show you. A person needs to hear you saying, I'm sorry. It's important. Every person wants to be validated when you have hurt someone. Don't take time to say you are sorry. Because for me, my thing is, if my husband knows me as a person that says, when my wife has done something and she's done, she's, she says sorry. If, she, if it takes long for me to say sorry, she realizes that probably she doesn't even realize that what she did was wrong. So maybe I need to come up and stop judging her and just let her see that her actions were wrong because she might not see it because whenever she knows she's done something that is wrong, she's quick to say I'm sorry. So that you do not let the devil leave for a long time. For us, we had another thing that we said we were doing when we got married. We said we will not go to sleep. Not go to sleep if we, have, we are not talking. It means we don't go visit friends, we don't go anywhere, we lock ourselves up, we talk about it up until it's sorted, then we go out. But the thing that makes it to stand there for a long time, it is because you start pretending because you need to go out. Now you're going to put this mask on that says, me and my husband, we are in love, as we're not talking. I know we're not talking at home, but in front of you, I have to pretend that we are happy and in love and everything is fine. And that mask, as I put it on, the devil becomes so heavy. He says, you're never going to take it off. I'm teaching you now how to keep it on. Because every time you go out that door, you're going to keep it on. And then you start pretending that things are good. And you start pretending up until your conscience, it dies. And you don't even feel that you are pretending anymore. I said, for me, I will never allow that to come to my marriage. I still stand and 